In this question, we're asked to rank some types of um, electromagnetic radiation, infrared radiation, microwaves, green light, which is a form of visible light, and ultraviolet radiation in terms of order of frequency, wavelength, and energy. So we have three different ways of ordering it, and we want to put one for, for in this column for the lowest frequency, one for the lowest wavelength here, and one for the lowest energy here. Well, it turns out that energy, frequency, and wavelength are all related by constants. So, for example, C equals lambda nu. What this means is the speed of light, which is constant, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, equals the wavelength times the frequency. So, wavelength and frequency are related by a constant. Said another way, if you know one, you can calculate the other because they're related by a constant. You don't need any other information. And also, E equals H nu. So energy equals Planck's constant times the frequency. And if we rearrange this equation and plug in, or E equals HC over lambda. Again, energy and frequency are related by a constant, in this case Planck's constant, or two constants in the case of wavelength and energy, because you have Planck's constant and the speed of light, which is a constant. So if you know any one of these things, if you know the frequency, if you know the wavelength, if you know the energy, you can calculate the other two. So if you know just frequency, you can calculate wavelength and energy. If you know wavelength, you can calculate frequency and energy. And if you know energy, you can calculate wavelength and frequency. So when we look at a continuous electromagnetic spectrum, and this one I took off of um, Alex, then basically you can know all of the things. So in this case, at the radio end of the scale, and I should note that sometimes you find these backwards where radio is over here and then everything's exactly backwards, but in this case we have radio here on the far right hand side. This is going to be your longest wavelength, so long wavelength. Long wavelength is low energy. Because, if you see, as wavelength goes up, energy goes down, because wavelength's at the bottom of this equation. And it's also low frequency. Since the constant is wavelength times frequency, as wavelength goes up, frequency must go down in order to maintain a constant. And I'm not going to get into why exactly that is here, but it has to do with if the light's moving at the same speed, the longer the wavelength is, the less often you're going to see the crest of a wave, so therefore the less the frequency is. The exact opposite is true over here with gamma rays. These are your shortest wavelength. high energy, high frequency waves of electromagnetic radiation. There would be gamma would be the highest. So the, these are basically how you can view this. Um, there, this is true. Wavelength increases in this direction and frequency increases in this direction. But I'd like to remember it this way. It's a little easier for me to remember it that way. But use, please, uh, whatever works for you. Okay? So when we look at these things, we want to do order of frequency. So we want to find the lowest frequency electromagnetic radiation. So we want to find the one that's furthest to this side. So first, we have infrared, which is here. Then microwaves, which is certainly lower in frequency than infrared then green light, which is a type of visible light, and then ultraviolet radiation, which is actually higher in energy and higher in frequency than visible light. So in this case, microwave is one, infrared is two, visible light, in particular green light, is three, followed by ultraviolet, which is four. Note that the energy is going to be exactly the same. Because if you have the lowest frequency, you definitionally must have the lowest energy. The lower this frequency, then you multiply by a constant. Energy is, of course, going to be lower as well. So this is going to be 1, 2 uh, for infrared, 3 for green light, and ultraviolet will be 4. 
Now you can do the wavelength two ways. It's either the opposite of this, or you can simply um, do it one at a time. In this case, we want to do the order of wavelength. So we want to find the shortest wavelength. Well, the shortest wavelength is the highest energy. So ultraviolet is one. Notice it was four for both the frequency and the energy. Now it's one, followed by green light, which is going to be the next uh, shortest wavelength because here is short wavelength. So as we move in this direction, the wavelengths get longer. So green light is two, followed by infrared, which is three, and then finally microwaves, which is four.